name's Ricky. Where are you from? Uh, originally from uh, Fresno, California, but I'm here uh, currently living in Miami. Uh, go, uh, going to, uh, I'm actually currently a medical student at FIU. Okay. And what year uh, medical student are you? Uh, third year. Okay. Finishing third year. When did you start losing your hair, Ricky? I started losing hair when I was about 23. Uh, it runs in my family. Dad, uh, my uncle start, lost all his hair uh, when he was 26. Uh, on mine, I, you know, it's, it's getting there, so I wanted to do something about it. Okay. And how old are you now? I'm 29. Okay. And how does hair, fa hair loss affect you? Does it affect you in any negative way? Uh, yes, it at first didn't bother me, but I think uh, my mom thinks, you know, uh, I will look good better with hair. And I know my girlfriend doesn't tell me, uh, you know, she, she, you know, she tells me it's fine without the hair, but I think, in, deep inside, I think she'll be happy with it, <laughs> the result. Okay. And does anyone in your family know you're going for a hair transplant? Oh, uh, yes. Mom and dad, my sister, my girlfriend, okay. and a couple of friends, they know. Okay. And what, uh, what area of medicine are you, are you thinking about doing? I'm um, thinking about going to surgery. Uh, I've always wanted to, uh, uh, you know, be in the surgery field. Uh, so hopefully next year we'll, we'll find out. Okay. And then how did you find out about natural transplants? Uh, I was just looking at some videos on YouTube and um, I was uh, comparing F FUE versus, uh, uh, you know, just a, a traditional strip method. And also for me, um, I, I was thinking about doing that for FUE. A lot of people tell me, you know, it doesn't leave the scar or anything, but I saw your work. I saw your videos and if, if it's done right, I think, you know, it's much less costly and also, you, you know, you get really good results. So I did a lot of research, I saw your videos, and I was really convinced, uh, you know, you're the doctor for me. And what are you hoping to accomplish today? Uh, just, uh, you know, like, I, I know it's a slow process. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, I know it's not going to be one, set, uh, one uh, seating. Mm -hmm. uh, I know next year I'll probably be back for more. Uh, but main thing is I'm looking to get a hairline, uh, and then from there we work back, backwards. So definitely looking forward uh, in the future. Okay, Dr. Hubner here. I'm here with the patient of the day, Ricky. And um, at this point in the operation, we've taken the strip out from the back. Uh, he's all sewn up, and uh, now we're just kind of stretching our legs, and uh, he's walking around. Yep. But Ricky, how's the day been going for you? What What's your experience been like? Oh, it's been very good. Um, I think very smooth. Um, barely felt, you know, a couple stings from the anesthesia. But after that, you know, it just um, it was, it was very relaxing, and I was watching you know, TV shows. Yep. That's very good. We're watching Californication in there with his, uh, with his <laughs> friend and uh, joking around. So, it, it, you know, the key is really, it's just very simple. Uh, yeah. People are very scared about it. They think it's a very barbaric thing or not sure coming in. They get all nervous. And they always leave saying uh, that that was really easy. Or, and some people even say it was enjoyable. So, uh, you know, it's just a nice, easy day. So um, I want to show you. You can see now where we're going to basically design his hairline. So that's going to be his new hairline. This little, again, this little uh, bruise right here is from the anesthesia needle, so that will be a bruise for a couple days, probably about three days, and go away. Um, I'm going to turn him around here so you can see the back. Uh, now, he had his hair pretty short when he came in, but you can see, even despite that, it's pretty easy to cover up that incision in the back. So, but as you can see, there's a little post-op oozing, but there's very little so I can't feel anything. Yep. Yeah. So very easy stuff. So just checking up. We're going to basically check in uh, with him after we placed all the graphs in. Um, but uh, looking forward to seeing your progress. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Hubner. Okay. Dr. Hubner here, natural transplants. I'm here with Ricky. So we've just completed the entire surgery or procedure. Um, Ricky, how's your day been so far? Uh, so far, it's been really great. Uh, I came in here and uh, it was pretty quick, actually. I, I was sleeping for most part of it and watch some TV shows. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I actually didn't feel anything except for that, uh, you know, the couple stings from anesthesia. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now I feel great. Awesome. So the surgery total time was just shy of five hours. Uh, so in Ricky's case it was much easier because he allowed us to shave his head a little bit so uh, it wasn't digging through a lot of hair so that actually takes off a little time from the procedure. Right now the anesthesia you told me was wearing off uh, more so in the back and that's, that's pretty normal. Usually the back incision is where you feel a little discomfort or tightness first. Um, we're going to give him some ibuprofen. He has some pain medicine that's going to be available to him. Uh, we're going to go over all the post-op stuff. But if you come in here a little closer and you can kind of see 
how jam-packed it is. You can see his new hairline. These are all one and two hair grafts. It's mostly one hair grafts here. You can see how staggered the pattern is. So it's going to mimic a natural hairline. All these grafts behind here, each one of those represents four, five, six hairs. So this is all going to be dense, packed hair, and it's all shooting in the right direction. Um, this is going to change everything for him. So, uh, and you can see from the back, the exact incision, that really isn't an issue. Even though he has his hair short, you know, it's really tough. You can kind of see under there. Uh, you can see an incision, but uh, again, it's uh, it's really tough to see that unless you're looking for it. The hair just kind of comes right over it. So, in uh, in Ricky's case, uh, he's going to be able to wear a head covering for uh, a week or two. Um, again, all the scabs will be there for approximately 10 days or so. So, um, you know, everything then will then be smooth. Uh, the skin may have a little bit of redness to it, like he had a sunburn, and that will again fade. So, again, Ricky, thanks for showing us. Uh, and uh, and again, I'm looking forward to seeing your results. Uh, more importantly, um, nothing will grow for three to four months, but you know, have some patience with that. It'll come in, and uh, looking forward to seeing your progress. Check us out at naturaltransplants.com.